So today I'll be making a quick review on the LX570 infotainment system. So as you can see here, it is a 12 inch display. Um, it's not a touch screen because this is an SUV so it'd be hard to reach. But what you have are these controls. You have like your enter button on the side. You have your map button, back button, menu button, and your up and down. And then you have this little joystick thing here that you could go move side to side and up or down. I mean, it's an alright system. It's definitely like not a Mercedes, but it's alright. That's one of the that's definitely one of the weak points of the LX 570s technology. As much as I love the SUV and how capable it is, it's just the infotainment system is just not the best. Another thing I really dislike about the about Lexus and Toyota products is that they do not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. But what they have is like Lexus has the uh, Lexus App Suite, which is pretty much the same as Toyota Entune. Um, as you can see here, if we go with this joystick here, you know, you've got decent apps like, you know, you've got like your destinations, iHeartRadio, Slacker Radio, your fuel guide, sports. But one funny thing is, if you could see here, there's an app for stocks, which I really don't know anybody who would want to be looking at stocks while in th while they're in the car, but that's interesting. So, anyways, you've also got Yelp, and you've got movietickets.com. So, there's a tab for your radio, if we go here. So, you have your information, you have HD radio, you have your presets... As you can see here, all your presets. And let's if we go back to info, you have your settings for your sound. So if you want your bass to go up, your mid, your treble, and if you want the sound to be to the front of the car or the rear of the car or to the left or the right of the car, you can do all that. Here you've got media which is basically Bluetooth. As you could see nothing is connected. If we go to source, here are all your options for your music. You've got AM, FM, satellite radio, your disc, Bluetooth, iHeartRadio, Slacker, and an aux port. And if we go here, uh, like I said it's a very hard to use system which is definitely one of the downsides of the car as you could see it's hard to get to everything but anyways you've got your uh, DVD for the rear if we go to info you could see it gives us the average fuel consumption and your traffic report as you could see here uh, weather, which is also another cool feature. As you can see here, it is mostly sunny, 57 degrees out. And, let's see, hold on. And vehicle alert history, which is basically your maintenance and like all the maintenance you've recorded. You've also got your climate controls. This vehicle has uh, four zone climate controls. Here you have the two in the front, and then if we go click this one, the, this is for the climate control in the back. Here there's another tab for setup, which is basically settings and stuff like that. So if we go to general, you could see you have like clock, language, units of me measurement, button color, and keyboard layout. Here there's more. There's customized images, auto screen change, and anyways, I'm not going to go all over this all day, but it has basic settings. So anyways, if we click the back button, there's voice, which is always like all, everything that relates to voice. And if we go back, Bluetooth, audio, traffic, navigation, vehicle, settings phone, Lexus app suite, and data services. 
Another cool feature uh, in the LX is the voice command system, which is located on the steering wheel. If you press it, please say a command. For example, you could say, I'm hungry. Please say the list number. Now it'll give you um, nearby restaurants, which is a pretty cool feature, as you could see here. Here's a list of all the things you could say. You've got quite a bit of things you could say, and Pardon? the voice recognition is like, it's very um, accurate. That's the thing I love about the LX, unlike some other cars.